downtown Atlanta in prime time on a Saturday night. A beautiful look at the Georgia State Capitol as we welcome you to Sun Belt Football. And a critical matchup headed your way this evening for the second time all time. Marshall and Georgia State meeting both teams coming in at very respectable 4-1 and one records. With Roddy Jones, I'm Roy Philpott. And what we are calling the best group of five conference in the land, the Sun Belt. Tyleek Williams back deep to receive this Fearhoff kick. Four yards deep. Panthers at 4-1, only lost to Troy. That came two weeks ago after an open date. Quick toss in the flats and a gain of 10 goes to Robert Lewis, one of the top receivers for Georgia State this season. And that's in the playbook. As soon as Granger sees that with his experience, that's what he's going to do. Case in point, Lewis again, a first down into plus territory and a big play for Georgia State. J.J. Roberts, the tackle. By the time the safety can get over there, Robert Lewis is already seven yards down the field. Quick strike. Williams plows his way across the 30, still on his feet. And he'll secure another first down, a 12-yard gain, and Williams did the bulk of the damage that time after the catch. Knocking on the door of the red zone, you wonder if this is time for Marcus Carroll. The answer is no. Granger keeps it. Granger to the end zone. Not even two minutes off the clock, and Georgia State on the board. A phenomenal first drive for Georgia State. They took the layups. It was it was almost like a basketball team in a layup line. Toss it out left, toss it out right, getting chunks at every single turn. And then when Marshall commits numbers to stopping that, what do you do? Zone read to eliminate one of the defenders from the defense. Darren Granger takes it to the house. And from 24 yards out, he was perfect on that drive. Four for four through the air for 46. Good. I mean, the defenses in that league are phenomenal. So if you have an off day, either one of those teams have an off day, and it can mess that up. Third down and five. Granger wants to buy some time, and he will. Flings it. First down, Georgia State. Ethan Payne, the running back. Third and technically 16. The crossing round is there for Jaden Harrison. And he's brought down at the 17, well short of the line to gain a 10-yard pickup. Jeremiah Johnson back on the field. That's a good sign for Georgia State. Those guys block for the drag coming across. Good job of tackling in the open field by Georgia State. John McConnell has the punt block. Georgia State has it for the touchdown. A lightning strikes the Georgia State special teams. Isaiah Guy corrals it for the score. In games like this, it's often little things. The high snap is what throws this completely off. The timing just all off. Then you get a couple of guys coming free from the edge. It's the easiest touchdown Georgia State's had this year. Cam Marshall blocked it. Isaiah Guy picked it up. A quick scoop and the quick score. Fireworks are plenty. Here at Center Park Stadium tonight. In the box for a moment. They'll drift back a linebacker. Here comes that pressure. Fancher stays alive. Tried to dump it off to Ali. Could not corral it. He touched it three different times. And the pass is incomplete. The pressure that time coming from Gavin Pringle. You know, six gets into the territory of third and long. Fancher somehow corralled the snap and is brought down behind the line. And Sean Elliott's journey in the coaching realm starts all the way back at Appalachian State. Georgia State head coach now, of course, but what back in the day, a young oh, baby a face, face coach. <laughs> of course, he moved on, then went to South Carolina, was under the head ball coach Steve Spurrier for a number of years. Top four seasons in Gamecock football history. That train is named Sean Elliott. I mean, it's a freight train, it's a Mack truck. There goes Carroll. Crossed the 35, up ended at the 37. And a gain of 17 for 23 in black, and Sean Elliott loves it. Carroll, another burst, and a stiff arm, brought down in midfield. Mon Green goes in motion. And Brock racing for a first down and then some. Now the hair was flying, the yards were coming. It's a gain of 12, J.J. Roberts, the tackle. Well, how about the changeup? You can... Bring Brock into the game and the burst around the corner is able to get the first down. He's been perfect this season. And a chip shot field goal is good. I want to ask you about that and how that impacts how players are utilized this evening with that quick turnaround. 
Fancher a couple of pump fakes, and after all that, will gain a couple. Send Keaton in motion again, and bouncing it outside for the easy touchdown with penalty markers down. Holding offense, number 85. 10 yard penalty, replay the down. Granger will keep it on second and long. Granger stays alive. Plenty of time on the play clock, third and eight. Quick strike goes to Williams. Williams for a first down and a lot more. Inside Marshall territory. Well, a good look into the soul of a college kicker. And Rickman gets it away and connects. And very dangerous. Fancher time, didn't need much. Ball came out, and that pass ruled incomplete. Or at the end of the game. And the slant pattern is there to Williams. Williams off to the races, and he may go. Ty Leak Williams to the house from 74 yards out. Nothing fancy about it. Slant to your slot receiver, gets in a foot race with a safety, and it's see you later for Tyleek Williams. If that play would have been overturned, and I'm Tyleek Williams, I do not want to be around Sean Elliott on the Georgia State <laughs> sideline. Crawling side under the stadium. Well, Roddy, to your point, it felt like they finally found that rhythm at the end of the half after that opening drive, and Ali's going to be bottled up. He's got 14 yards on the ground so far. Third down and five for Fancher, who retreats and is chased and buys some time against his body incomplete. Disqualified. That'll eliminate the three and out. Marshall with new life. And on the screen pass, Coombs goes down quickly with Gavin Pringle ready and waiting, and that's going to be a TFL. And then shift around, bring Altrick Barlow in at left guard. Ali motions out on third down. They'll set up the tunnel screen, and it goes nowhere. He's going to lose yards. And a TFL by Taiji Leach against Daryl Simmons, and it's fourth down. And now you're kind of in no man's land. It's great play out wide. When you show pressure, you then play zone. Fancher gets it. Marshall going to go for it. Two penalty markers fly as Fancher finally spots Coombs. I think he's short. He needed to cross the 35, and I think he's about a yard short, and we'll check the infractions. Looks like the, the penalty will be holding, but Georgia State's going to decline that penalty because the pass was caught short. Now the penalty was called. On Osborne. It's a three-point game, probably. Pressure. Granger sensed it, got rid of it quickly to Thompson. And that's another chain mover. The sort of receiver stand up for that now screen, but you hit the slant right behind it. Ali tackled by his ankle. A right one that time. They're going to say the ball came out late, and let's see. And that is a turnover. Well, he ran into the pile, and the ball came out, and that is not something we've seen a lot from number 22. The replay on the on the big screen, it does look like that ball was out before the knee was down, although this should give us a good look. And I think that ball is out. They're the twos. There's a reason that they're not the starters. Now with that linebacker position, you've got two spots where you got backups in. Panthers starting to gut that Marshall defense through the A-gap that time. A gain of six more for Carroll. A couple of starters at linebacker. On third and long, Granger escapes. And the pass caught well short of first down yardage. And how about the Marshall defense? Roddy forcing a three and out. As Amon Green catches his first pass of the night. Now the offense is going to have a chance to take the lead. Pierce back deep to receive this Georgia State punt. And heavy pressure contact, and here comes a penalty. And the question, is it running into the kicker or roughing the kicker? If it's running into the kicker, it does not result in a first down. If it's roughing, it does. Based on coming down on his plant leg. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Defense, 15 yards, automatic, first down. Now Cade Loggins. Was hit by Ishmael Roy. 
Granger keeps it. Granger has a first down and racing ahead. And it could be a free play offsides by the thundering herd. Offensive line stood perfectly still. And a late penalty mark on the back end of that play between the receiver and the defensive back. Let's see what the call is. Offside. Defense, number five. That penalty's declined. Pass interference. Defense, number six. 15 yards, previous spot. First down. Greatly assisting Georgia State. Marcus Carroll, the jump cut, and the stiff arm. Well, a lot happening there for number 23. Has yet to reach the end zone this evening. Granger keeps it, and he'll reach the end zone there. Second rushing touchdown of the night, this time from two yards out. Coombs motions out. And this time, Georgia State... Ready for 22. Gavin Pringle led the charge. The career-long 65-yard touchdown grab. Fancher's got some time. Look behind him, and then is going to be sacked. Kevin Swint, transfer from Clemson. And on third and 15, Fancher sensing pressure. Oh, he was hit high, and he came down to Corral. Mon Green comes in. And Granger goes out, and let's see where they spot it. Elijah Austin was there to record the stop, so. Yeah, but but, you're but the distance of the third down is what we're talking about here. Marcus Carroll on third and long, picks up a first down. He would not be denied. Well, four different occasions in this half, Marshall penalties have resulted in Georgia State first downs. And the Panthers can feel it now. Carroll darting ahead. But he says they're fun to coach, and because of that tough offseason, they've been calloused and are ready for these moments. There goes Carroll. Little shake and bake inside the five. Clock moves under two minutes on first and goal. Carroll leaps for the end zone and gets there. Well, his first touchdown of the night is 10th on the season. And big-time numbers for Marcus Carroll, the senior. We have been treated to every bit of the running back battle that we thought we'd get, but Marcus Carroll and this Georgia State offense have been the story of the day. Goes over the top into the end zone, and he puts this one well out of reach. From the 15, Fancher to Pierce. And that will do it. John Trey Hunter with the tackle. And our final score, Georgia State 41, Marshall 24.